In this video, I'm going to show you how to pay off multiple vendor bills with one payment. So we're going to go in our accounting application. We're going to go to vendors bills. And you see we have three posted bills here, all from the same vendor. Let's say in this case, we want to pay all of the vendor in one shot. So the $200 that we owe them, we're going to select all on the left side here. And we're just going to click register payment. And now we're going to select group payments. And this is automatically going to batch this payment into one. And we're going to do it from our bank journal. We're just going to say manual, but if it was a check, you can also write check. So we're going to create this payment. And what that's going to do is create a vendor payment here. And it's going to bring us to our vendor payments. And we see that we've already paid this vendor now. The only thing left to do is reconcile this $200 payment to, in our bank account. So now if we go to our vendor bills again, you'll see that these are all paid. And all we have to do is apply our credit. Or I'm sorry, they're in payment, so we don't have to do anything right now. They are posted and in payment. So the status is posted, and if we look at our payment status, you'll see in payment. So now we're going to go to our accounting app. We're going to create a new bank statement. And we're just going to add a line here and we're going to say payment to vendor one for 200. We'll copy this total down here and we'll post. So now when we reconcile, there will be one payment to reconcile against, which is this 200 here. And once we validate, all of our vendor bills will be marked as paid. So we'll go to vendor bills and you'll see that the payment status has now updated to paid. If you wanted to take a look at that payment that we made, you can go into vendor payments and you'll see that $200 posted payment with the associated statement and the three bills that we paid using these smart buttons. And you'll see the statement and you can also see the journal entry.